Welcome to this next Klingon lesson. My name is Levin Tar and I am your Klingon teacher from Germany. Now today we had the premiere of Star Trek Discovery and I think you have seen a lot of Klingons and there was a lot of Klingon spoken in there and to talk about the Klingon language I have a very special guest today and you will see who it is so I just say like energize. Hi! 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 You know this guy? This is Mark Okrent, the creator of the Klingon language. Okay, some people may argue he didn't create it because we all know this was James Doohan, the actor of Scotty who created the first few words. But after that, for Star Trek 3, Mark Okrent has created an entire dictionary and hundreds and thousands of words for, well, for everybody who wanted to learn and speak Klingon. And now we have seen on Star Trek Discovery a few more words. A lot more words, or a, lot of, a lot of complex sentences. Some of the new words we have heard now on the show, they were not here on the first time. Those were all published during the meeting of the Klingon Language Institute, the Kep A. They had a list of many words and they asked Mark Ockren to tr translate these. And now we're happy to see the new words appear in the show and this shows how the Klingon language is growing and it's growing all the time and that's why it's even sometimes called the fastest growing language of the galaxy. Right. Yes. Right. It, and it also shows how much attention the producers of this new Star Trek series have paid to, to Klingon, to getting it right. Yes. That even even with, with they even incorporated the newest concepts into the show. Yeah, I'm I'm actually I'm very happy to have the new show incorporate so many Klingons in the first place. And it's great to see that pay attention to so much detail, not only for all of the Klingon, all of the starships and so we see, but also that they paid attention to use the Klingon language. Right, including, including visually, including writing in Klingon. Yes, yes. But in the very first second, and this was actually a nice word play, some people wondered who might be the first character we see in the show. Well, the answer is the first character is not a who. It is a what, because what we s saw was the phrase Rochle Chach, they are coming. And that was the phrase spoken by Tikuvma and it was displayed using Klingon letters, which were really just designed for the new show. Right. They were first used during a promotion for the show, which happened in December 2016, when the first actors were introduced. And then later on during other promotions, we have seen it. They have once they have announced um, some quotes from the mm -hmm. Klingon Way, a book about Klingon traditions, and they said like uh, only a fool is fighting in a burning house. shuv koch nech. And the other phrase they have shown was the phrase four thousand throats may be cut in one night by a running man. Kashdakvish wa'ram. I don't know, I think that we're close to have seen all of the existing letters. There may be some missing, like the, the letter for TLH, and then the letter for N, and the letter for P. So now we just need to see the word Klingan PU to get those, but I'm sure we'll get them, and I think we'll just make a different show about that later. Yeah. And he, so, um, did you work on the show? No. Really? No, I didn't work on it at all. The, the person who worked on the dialogue, created the dialogue in Klingon, is Robin Stewart. Yes. Who uh, lives in Vancouver. And somebody else was on set uh, with the actors coaching them in their lines. Robin helped out, but there was someone other than Robin on set all the time. So Robin Stewart was the one creating the lines, she translated all of it, and mm -hmm. Rhea Nolan, she's a voice coach and she taught the actors to speak the Klingon. Right. Have you seen the show? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, did I've you like it? it? Well, I won't talk about the show itself, to okay. put bad or indifferent, but for the Klingon parts, the Klingon parts were amazing. And did you expect to have so much Klingon in there? Well, I knew ahead of time that there was going to be a lot of Klingons, people, in there, because I've seen the ads. Seen yeah, the there were announcements. Like, like everybody else. Uh, and I knew that Robin was working on it, so I didn't know how much there was going to be. 
not in terms of quantity, but in terms of in uh, complex sentences and discussions and things like that. I, I expected that sort of thing to happen, although there was a lot more than I thought there was going to be. What do you think about the pronunciation of the actors, how they spoke the Klingon? Yeah, I thought most of them, I would say even all of them, did a really, really good job. Some of them were a little bit clearer than others, but that's true for anybody talking any language at any time. Well, so it seemed very natural. In that yes, way. Yeah. yes, of course. Well, actually, we have seen 24 Klingon houses, and we know that every house maybe has a different dialect depending on where they come from. Right. And it's also always a good way to explain different kinds of pronunciation. Right. Now, we have had a few new words in the show, like we had the word for coffin. The word for coffin, for those interested, it's actually the same word as the one we use for an egg shell. Right. Which is just pel ak. I will add this here. It will be floating here. You see, <laughs> sorry, here. This is say pel, pel ak. ak. So you got the ak and I get the p. Yes. Yeah. I'll get the ak, you get the <laughs> pel, pel right. ak. One of the words, one of the new words that were used in this show is sarcophagus. And the word they used was nebele. Am I saying this correctly? Nebele. Nebele. Yeah. That was the flying sarcophagus you saw. Some more new words that we have heard are not really new words, but there were a way to describe words for one of them is the Andoryatnan. Right. Can you say this? Andoryatnan. One other word that we have learned is the inhabitant of Tellar Prime, which is in English a Tellarite, and in Klingon it's Tellargan. Tellargan. Tellar Tellargan. Tellar because inhabitants are Ngan all the time. Ngan, just like Klingon are inhabitants of Konos. <laughs> <laughs> That's logic. Languages are not always logic, you have to know. Now, the next one is um, a planet. It's called Donatu 5. We have heard about it in the episode with the Tribbles, Captain Kirk, and they talked about it. They mentioned they had a fight at, at Donatu 5, which was about 20 years before. Well, this new show, Star Trek Discovery, is happening 10 years before Captain Kirk, so they also know about Donatu 5. And to name a planet, you just add the number, and then in Klingon, you just say. Do, what is it? Donatu Var. Donatu Var. During this show of Star Trek Discovery, the Klingons have announced a very important, well, ideology which they follow. And I said in Klingon, Wa Kanklin We Pub. And Kanklin is a new word. It's a new word, right? Do I say this correctly? Kanklin. Kanklin. It Kanklin. means. Kanklin. Yeah. Kanklin. We'll show it's this right up there. here. Yes, it is. You show Kang and I show Klin. Right. You show Kang. Right. And you got show, Klin. You show Kang. Kang. Klin. And the new. Um, the uh, ideology that the Klingons follow is Klingon Mach Tach Judge. Klingon Mach is a phrase that many people have heard already. It means something like, We are Klingons. We are Klingons. You say Klingon Mach. Yes, and these Klingons, they pay attention, they want to remain Klingon. And that's why they add Tach Judge. Tach Judge. May it continue. Klingon Mach. Judge. So, it was an honor to have you Thank here you. in my show. It's been great to be here. Thank you for bringing me in. Thanks for visiting. And my name is Levin Litar. I'm your Klingon teacher from Germany. And I'm Marco Krent, and I'm not.